Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I do not feel good, so I won't have my camera on for a few of my reads, maybe for the month of November until I feel a little bit better. But welcome in. Uh, today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 35 to 36. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to pull up the cat logo blur to censor their 50%. I try to do it lower than that, 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all my reads without any censorship, any cat logo blurs, and you guys gain early access. Uh, it's all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. I know it's going to be so weird to not see my face, but... I don't feel good. <laughs> Ugh, the women who fall for me. If they have wanted children. They have to abandon that desire. Hello, baby. Episode 35. Ta -ta oh. so, when I was in high school. I was diagnosed with cancer. Hodgkin lymphoma? Lymphoma? We knew it was serious, but it was early on enough that there was a high chance of being cured. I did what I could to focus on my recovery, though during the most intensive treatments, all I could handle was laying in bed. With radiation and chemotherapy, one of the possible side effects is infertility. I wasn't prepared for those kinds of side effects. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Why me? Why does it have to be now? Everything's going to be okay, son. I gradually accepted my reality with the help of my loved ones. Ever since my recovery, I've always felt like I've been on a borrowed time. I decided if that was the truth, then I'll just live my life on my own terms. I hadn't had any serious relationships until I met Elaine. I was positive that I was completely okay, that I was whole, I even guaranteed it, so I got myself tested to prove that. <laughs> but it only led to disappointment. I'm sorry for hiding this from you. I'm sorry for being selfish. Then was the way you treated us all an act? Of course not. I just wasn't sure how you react to all of this. D that's why I felt that I, I, bearing a miracle. I can't have children with my partner. I'm not the complete person I've always wanted to make myself out to be. You, big dummy. You're such an idiot. You should have just told me from everything from the get-go. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, you're all right. We have Leon, don't we? I want to be... Uh, part of your lives. If only we could have been this honest from the beginning. But I guess... Things happen for a reason. <gasps> It may have taken us some time to get to here, but I hope we can continue to move forward like this. Together. I am not making those noise, okay? I'm sorry. Y'all will have to picture it yourself or do it in your head. More. More. Oh, oh. <laughs> leave it to the baby to cock block. Oh. 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 
what was wrong, Leon? Huh? <laughs> I've been trying to tell you, Leon can sense disturbances in the force. <laughs> he can be a little clingy, like someone I know. <laughs> huh. So this is the place they're hiding, huh? To be continued. Coconut! <laughs> oh my goodness. The, da the dancing cactus is too cute. And he's all look the... Baby Leon has the hair tied up with a little lion hair bow. <laughs> oh. Maybe we have a dancing king in the making. Yeah. <laughs> looks so much like you. There should be no doubt he's your son. Gwen. Thank you. Yeah? Ahem. <clears throat> not in front of the baby. Ah, uh, it's time for a snap. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Hello, baby. Episode 36. How long are you going to follow me? I was told to see you home safely, Miss Carol. Oh, I was told to see escort. I was told to see escort you safely, Miss Carol. Oh, I give up. It's like he's programmed to say that. I'm still not fully convinced about how good of a person your boss is yet. Of course, that's very understandable. Don't worry. He saved me from getting into a bar fight last night, so I know he's all right. Uh, Plus, I really need my own driver. You don't want me being reckless in a car, do you? Doom. He was just fired from his last job, so the least I can do for someone who protected me is give him a driving gig. Welcome, Gareth. Thank you, sir. <laughs> But I hope my loyalty to him can speak to how kind of a person he really is. Like that would... Uh, watch out! Oh! Huh? <gasps> oh! Shalala! Oh my god, that stupid sound! And then whenever something like just romantic or something like, you know, heart... Heart skip a beat. Shalala! <laughs> oh, we're, we're sorry. Are you right, Miss Carol? The bird's like, oh, awkward. I just want to go home. Ah, uh, home at last. Glad you got home safe, Carol. Thank you for coming today. Well, your guy's all right for now, but if he does anything bad to, to you or Leon... Uh... <laughs> I can't get it out of my head. The thought of him having such a serious illness. For someone like Arthur, who wanted to build a family and not being able to. But most importantly, I've been acting out weird. Now I can't sleep. I'm thirsty. Are you here for a late night drink too? Oh, grumpy cat mug. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Uh, just checking my schedule for this week. So, since you asked, are you curious about my work? Have a sit. This is on Mondays. Oh, I really am curious, though. He sure has a packed schedule. Whoa. Wait, if your schedule's like this... How do you find time to be here so often? Well, I usually end up moving some appointments around. With the amount you're here, I hardly think you're on only moving some appointments. Shh, Leon might wake up again. What about you? What were you doing? Before Leon? Uh, I... I was on my last term for interior design. Oh. Well, why don't I help you finish your studies? Uh? I can't bring back lost time, but I can fully support you and Leon in the present. Though you have to let me on the stage with you while you receive your diploma. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks. But don't want to continue where we left off earlier. Mm. You're making a lot of noise. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Should we take this to the bedroom? To be continued. I'm thirsty. Well, you, we all are. Well, guys, that was a wrap. It's getting pretty hot in here, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to make any sound effects when it comes to very spicy content, so I'm sorry. Y'all will have to do it in your own head as you're reading along with me. Okay? Okay. But hey, I am just so happy to see that everything is going smoothly, that they're opening up so well. Now we're just kind of curious about what is... <sighs> What is this auntie going to do now? Now that she knows where they're living, is she's going to go up there and wreck the home and be like, no, this is impossible? Or is she going to be chill and be like, y'all need to get married so this doesn't uh, bring shame to the family, you know? But if you guys enjoyed the way I read and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!